dni. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to Jews or Greeks, or the Church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my glory be in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy. Your face is not flush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard him, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. With you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus. He turned to and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating brother, father, sister, mother, wife, children, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost? If there's enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation, finding yourself unable to finish the work, The onlookers should laugh and say, this one began to build, but they could not finish. They did not have the resources. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down, decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he's still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In that same way, Every one of you does not renounce all your possessions, cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, today's uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola and uh, the founder of the Jesuits, but the so much more about his life, about his beginnings. Um, he was a family of nobility in, in the Basque area of Bastille area of Spain, and uh, and uh, they were very much into. Uh, uh, he was a soldier, went away to, to learn, and he uh, that was a big, strong part of his life, uh, being a defender, a protector, um, and uh, uh, great obedience. And uh, then he had, then he got wounded, and uh, this leg problem that uh, was, was, was almost all of his life. And um, then he started roaming around, and he decided a conversion for Christ. And then he lived in a cave, among other places, and uh, had started getting these mystical experiences of God. Uh, and a lot of it was the, dealing with his sinfulness and battling with evil, with the devil. And, uh, but he found inside of himself that uh, there was uh, ways of uh, determining, you know, where what was good, what was bad, where is Satan, where is God, in, uh, by looking inside of himself and praying, and, and uh, then started writing it down. And um, he was questioned for, you know, who is this? Well, how can, you, how can God talk to you? And, um, all of that. And, um, but he was interrogated enough by the, the church to, to say, yes, he was really, this is true, he's really learned from God. And uh, he wrote the spiritual exercises. And they even uh, said, okay, you're having all these experiences, you need educated. And so they sent him uh, to France to study, to get a theology degree. And uh, while he was there, people started following him uh, uh, more and the Society of Jesus started, uh, but it's all on his devotion, great devotion to God. And um, they have some simple foundations of Christianity in their life: um, Trinity, Christ, and Eucharist. Those are, that sounds pretty standard. Um, that's why we sang, "Holy, Holy, Holy Trinity, Christ." Of course, He's our Savior. The Eucharist that is our food for life and for the for the journey here and for everlasting life. And the motto, for the greater glory of God. And um, isn't these things we can think about? Uh, so today let's be founded on living for Christ, um, Trinity, the Eucharist, living for the greater glory of God. Hearing God's holy word, we offer our prayers. 
for missionaries who bring the joy of the gospel to distant lands. God bless them with the spirit of wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in position of authority, may the Holy Spirit give them the servant's heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are rejected by society, may Jesus sustain them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here and those sharing with us online, may the blessings be upon us. May we encounter God in our daily lives. May Jesus be with us today in a special way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who are sick, those who are ill, those struck by the coronavirus, affected whether by illness or a loved one, may God help them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, for our lives, for our economy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faith who departed, may they share in the eternal life of God's promises. We pray for Dean Gutzel, who may he rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any petitions you'd like to voice at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, Lord God, and return to you, source of all goodness and truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for it's through your goodness you have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness and this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the fount of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ignatius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by her words of preaching, Keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. Without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, oh, 
Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon the people's offerings, pour out on them the power of your Spirit. They become, for us, the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and your daughters. When we were lost and could not approach you on account of our sins, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he, knowing he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, once more giving you thanks, handed to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. Looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you our faithful and merciful Lord, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself. By the sacrifice of your Son, grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread, one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope, Lawrence our Bishop. Help us work together for the coming of your kingdom. Until the hour we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, blessed apostles, with Saint Ignatius, all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to the glory of you with gladness, the thanksgiving of Christ. You live and reign forever for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. (laughs) 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, we pray. Our Father, which is in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe you're most present in this holy sacrament. I love you above all things, desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you at this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. You are already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Sanctify us in this sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of Saint Ignatius. O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, I guess yesterday at the 6 o'clock, 5.30 news, we uh, had some of our parishioners um, with Pastor Joe and, and some people in the Methodist Church uh, making a ramp. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, for, for Carol, and they move it down into the big city here, back to Zedoville. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Lord be with you. <laughs> God's blessings upon you, name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.